Hi guys, back again with me Austin from Abba Boy Heart. Today I'm going to share with you my experience on Disney Toy Box uh, Big Hero 6. Two figures in one video. First is Hero Hamada and then this is uh, Baymax obviously. right? So I've been collecting Disney Toy Box for a while now. These are um, an action figure released by Disney. Usually, you can find it in Disney stores. Um, basically, they'll make characters out of uh, from Disney, uh, Marvel, Star Wars, and also Pixar. So, this guy only will say this version of characters are <coughs> based on their Pixar's interpre uh, interpretation, right? So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the packaging anymore, but I'll show it to you guys. Here's the packaging looks like. Um, they're using this uh, see-through card so that you can see the uh, figures inside. Uh, these are not new. In fact, Disney, Disney Toy Box is not new by any means. I think they were released. <clears throat> I forgot the first Star Wars figure was probably 2018 and this or 2017. I'm not. I'm quite. I'm not quite, quite sure myself. But these uh, two are. Uh, Released in 2018. <clears throat> if I have uh, more time, I'll uh, an opportunity. I'll share the other figures of the Disney toy box that I have. I have some from Marvel, some from Star Wars as well, um, some from Pixar. Pixar, yeah. And then uh, this this figure line, they have their own uh, size, but I think they are more into the five inch scale, of course. Uh, Baymax is a big character and Hero is a short character, so they are not a good representative of the size of for this line. But maybe one day I can show you and share to you. All right, <clears throat> and I realized that the appearance on most of the releases so far pretty much uh, mimics the the version or the interpretation of characters. Uh, based on the Disney Infinity video games. Right? I never played the game, but I realized the design. They, I think they, they used to, I'm not, sh I'm not sure whether they are still doing it, but they used to release those uh, small statues of Disney characters, uh, which can be used for the video games, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and this design was pretty much, uh, in my opinion, based on those. Okay, so Without further ado, let's take a closer look at this figure. First, let's measure Hiro Hamada's height. Height is around, I think, to the top of his head. Hair, okay, is slightly more than four and a half inch around that. Okay, so yeah, like I said, <coughs> this uh, figure is, I think, is based on a five-inch scale figure. Let's uh, move closer. Now, um, I really like this Disney Toy Box figure because they are quite a good action figures for uh, for kids. You know, uh, well, they, these are uh, action figures which are catered for kid, but somehow, somewhat, they still uh, have quite a lot of playabilities, uh, possibilities, and which I like. Okay, sometimes they give you accessories. Uh, I think Disney Toy Box sometimes also gave uh, vehicle for your figures, so I think that's cool. And accessories, right? So it's kind of a borderline series and playable action figures, right? Now, uh, but some one of the weakness is, <clears throat> for example, is this Hero Hamada. As you can see, the face. Uh, it's, it's kind of smiling into a pose, right? And look at the position of the eyes, okay? <clears throat> look at that. I know that, uh, well, you can pose him a certain way, which, look, which may look good, but for the most part, uh, it makes this figure not to be that dynamic for photography because of, you know, the way it's facing. Okay? Uh, well, you want your figure to be as dynamic, right, as possible. But then, 
uh, it's limited. You don't have extra head, but you only have this one head. But then uh, look at this left eye. I'm not sure whether this is only in mine, mine, but all it also can be found in all releases. But I, I felt that the the right eye here is uh, looking too far to the right compared to the left one. Uh, if it's well, it's, it can be fixed. You can kind of paint a little bit more here so that, uh, so that to, to make it as safe that the eye is looking more straight to the front. You can do that. But yeah, that's, that's my only cry, by the way. But for the most part, this figure is cool. Uh, you, yes, it has all the cartoony 3D uh, look from the video game, but... Uh, I feel that they are doing this uh, in a very very good way. Okay, all uh, very smooth. Uh, of course, uh, sometimes pain is not the best. Uh, they are not super serious, but kind of borderline serious and playable. Like I say, okay, as you can see here, the pain is not that tidy. Okay, uh, on the back here, which is sad, <clears throat> but yeah. Well, this are uh, Disney. This is not. SH figure art, figure arts, or oh, this is not Hasbro Black Series or oh, Marvel Legends. This is not uh, <clears throat> what uh, Mayfax, medical Mayfax. So you don't expect those uh, fine details. But hey, look at this here. You look at straight away, then you know it's Hero Hamada, right? Okay. So yeah, <clears throat> let's just go through all. Uh, like I said, uh, the paint is not the best, but we can have all the details that we can look here. Uh, the left, uh, the left palm is kind of, kind of a chopping position. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, then the the one on the right is kind of a gripping palm. Okay. Uh, the shoulder pad here is, I think, molded. You can feel somewhat rubbery a little bit on it. Okay. It has one accessory, by the way, which is here. I like the mold on the hair, though. It looks great. Of course, the paint is not the best. Once again, feels rubbery. And what you can do is you can just pull it out very easily. Okay, look at those. Okay, you can see there's a hole. There's a kind of a pack there which will line up to his head <clears throat> and you can just put it there. Okay. Now it, you can uh, you can put uh, the, the only accessory that he has is this, the helmet, but, but the, uh, it also come with the hair here as you can see. Uh, sometimes I try to pose him in my display while uh, using the hair, grabbing the helmet, but sometimes I felt it's a bit too weird because how can a helmet has a hair on it, right? Has hairs on it. So, yeah, but it's, it's very rubbery as you can see here. Same with the, the hair is more solid as you can see. The helmet is more rubbery. Uh, uh, and I think it works in the same way as you can see there. Deep inside there, there's a kind of a pack which will in line in with to fill up this gap. Okay, so let's try it. Hopefully, I can do it in one go. All right, finally done. I had to do it off the camera, but uh, just one thing to note: when you want to put on his helmet take care of his ears as you can see those this gap and this gap here is because of the ears so you gotta take care of that before you put on a helmet otherwise it won't fit it won't fit in but this works really nice in my opinion okay as you can see with the hairs coming out okay uh, that's why they make it elastic more elastic because of the ears uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's rubbery, it's kind of rubbery here. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the articulation. 
let me show you some of the articulation this figure has the uh, the neck there has a hinge with the ball on top uh, so you have all the ball joints motion you have full rotation <coughs> you can you cannot look down that much uh, look up that much okay it's not so much side to side but yeah you get the point right all right then the <coughs> shoulder you, you see the hinge there uh, so you can move that much upward and backward that much you see the hinge and of course you can turn it around 360 right uh, as i say uh, i think the shoulder the shoulder pad is molded in this way to give room uh, which is fine uh, the elbow you can bend that much on the left uh, you have full rotation as well okay and then the wrist the wrist you can turn it around 360 and also you can see the hinge there uh, this one to move downward upward so uh, let's see the other side yep it does have it as well the hinge so you can kind of move that much and uh, that much okay rotation as well okay so that's for the arm on the torso there you have rotation full rotation by the way it's a bit loose sometimes it happens um, the belt is fortunately is it's not really hindering the articulation uh, the leg there as you can see you can do a front kick that much uh, back kick that much and then you see the hinge there so you can use the hinge to do the split as you can see uh, yet it, it hinders a little bit but it still can stretch i think it's not too bad uh let me see what do we have here all right similar uh you can do for rotation on top and then the knee the knee you can bend that much not bad actually and then you can turn it around 360 uh, the ankle you have full rotation but then you also have that hinge so that you can uh, bend it this much and that much doesn't have rocker ankle does it uh, not really but it's, it's quite good isn't it the movement is not so bad so I think uh, that's why I like <laughs> this toy box line uh, uh, it's not that expensive um, it has some of the good representation of the characters like this uh, hero is one of my favorite except for the eyes which make it uh, that's the only minus point and I wish it has extra hands uh, and maybe something to grab on that would be great okay. but uh, yeah that's pretty much for Hero Hamada let's move on for Baymax, its height is roughly to the top of his head is shy of 6.5 uh, inch so I think it's around 6 point maybe 6.4 inch around that okay so uh, yeah uh, as I said this is more on the well more on the 5 inch scale but as Baymax is a big figure by the way mind you also that the, so the leg is open up so I think it, if the leg can uh, close <coughs> close the leg even uh, tighter the height probably is a little bit more but the ankle is uh, designed in that way so that he can but that's okay that's okay uh, I think sometimes you, they, they gotta do that and it stands very very nice not like the other figures that we had you know for Bandai is sometimes very hard for the figures to stand 
but this Baymax it stands really easy uh, it's quite hefty by the way uh, the you can feel the weight which is fine which is cool by me uh, I think that's a plus point uh, it, it it never fall okay, in my display which is very very cool I think so okay let's 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 see uh, this okay is in a his battle ready mode which is cool not much detail here unfortunately but uh, it's still solid okay. uh, the belly more details here um, pain is cool I think uh, the pain on the circle is done rather nicely which is fine especially what I'm concerned is usually the one on his uh, eyes but it's, it's, it's spot on right which is awesome uh, both hands are uh, fish uh, fish uh, a fish yeah but as, as you can see here oh sorry the one on the left is a fish but the one on the right is kind of an open I'm not sure supposed to be gripping or just relaxed hand uh, more like gripping hand to me um, but yeah uh, and then nothing much really uh, down there you have the peg hole um, but again it's quite heavy <laughs> uh, maybe I just want to show you this uh, sorry it's a bit there's a water here and there because I uh, one, one thing what I like from this toy box figure is very easy to clean you you can just throw it into uh, soap water and it's it's it's, it's done you know <laughs> very simple really uh, the the wings here uh, I forgot whether it's already plugged in or you gotta uh, is it I, I forgot that was it uh, did it did it come separately or not uh, I mean did you need to assemble it I forgot about it but yeah here it is uh, and I forgot whether you, you should attach this or not I couldn't remember but it's been on my display for a while now uh, so here's the wing okay uh, you can see the two two kind of a circle X there that's the one in the middle which will connect to this and this uh, very easy and it never fall off so far as you can see very secure uh, yeah so I like I like the proportion of this guy a bulky uh, battle ready ready to kick the enemy's ass anytime which is cool uh, bulky at so many movement which I think uh, Banda should learn Banda America should learn uh, from them that's why uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite Baymax figures so far ever made. Uh, playable, quite quite posable as well, in my opinion. Right, bulky, very bulky. For the articulation, uh, let me start from this shoulder here first. The shoulder pad is actually attached, as you can see there. So that's the only movement on both sides, which is fine. And then the wings, uh, let me move, remove the wings so that you can see. Uh, you have this motion, as you can see, which is right, kind of ratcheted, which is cool, in my opinion. Okay, uh, so it, it holds, it really holds. And then you do have rotation here as well. Uh, you have rotation uh, is it a full rotation let me try yep there's a full rotation on both sides okay uh, the wings is rather rubbery a little bit on this side right so that's for the wing okay so just keep it aside for now so that I want you to appreciate more on this figure a look at this head okay yes he's bulky yes he's big for the size but 
Hey, ooh, he can somewhat uh, look down a little bit better uh, compared to Bandai, right? Which is because uh, I'm not sure whether you can see it on top. There's a big ball joint, which, uh, but then uh, down here also have a little bit of joint. So the neck. The neck comes with kind of, sorry, the bubble of water there. Uh, to the front, okay. But then you can combine with the ball, the ball joint on the on the top of the head. Okay, so you have full repetition, you have kind of side to side. Okay, it's, okay, it's not the best. Uh, but hey, for this uh, not so serious figure, it's not that bad, isn't it? Not that bad. Um, well, you should expect more for with Hasbro, with uh, with other figure line. But for this, you know, it's not so bad. Look at that. It's not so bad, isn't it? And you can always look up for uh, kind of a flying pose, which is not so bad. Okay. Now uh, on the arm here is similar. You see the big hinge there. You have full rotation, fortunately not limited by the shoulder pad. And then uh, you, you can utilize the hinge to move it up or you can utilize the wing also to move to the back. Not so much, but the hinge is there, right? Okay, so yep, punching check. Uh, the elbow you can bend this much, not so bad. Okay, uh, well not a well, not a full ninety, but hey, what do you expect, right? And then the this part you have on the wrist you have full rotation. Plus you see the big hinge there. Uh, you can move down that much. And then you can use it to uh, move up that much. Not so much, but uh, the join is there. Okay. As you can see, let's see the other hand. Similar. Plus the hinge is on that side as well. Uh, so let's see what I can do to show you. Uh, okay. You can move up that much move down that much okay plus the full rotation okay uh, by the way the head is rather loose for me probably not in yours but still hold still hold the pose so don't worry about it you know like this you can make a pose flying force like this um, the belly you have rotation here full rotation uh, the thigh let me see Okay, we have ball joints there, as you can see. Uh, you can do this much of a front kick, uh, that much of a back kick. Let me try a split. Not really, uh, but you can extend. And you basically have a ball joint motion on the thigh there. Okay, as you can see, it's quite a big ball joint, which is not so bad for this bulky figure. Uh, the knee, you can use the hinge to bend. All right, this is what the Bandai version doesn't have. Right, as you can see, uh, you might argue, hey, it's not so much. Hey, it, it is a lot. <laughs> okay, and then you have rotation on the knee, full rotation even. And this is what I mentioned earlier. The ankle is angled in, in a certain position to make it stand easily but it does have movement as you can see here but it is limited due to the sculpt on this armor so you have side to side uh, supposed to be full rotation and then you do have kind of a, a small hinge there I hope it's visible uh, to move it upward and downward upward and downward no rock wrinkle so as you can see, it does pack quite a number of 
articulation for so-called not a, not a very serious character as you can see so this is the wings uh, let's see how much you can extend uh, the wing all right uh, in a flying pose you can do uh, like this this much and then you can always move it down kind of a resting position and it stands okay that's the best of it all is that it stands it actually stands easily uh, that's what I like from this uh, Baymax all right so just to give you an idea of the size this is compared to lousy Bandai for in scale which is too small okay here and then this is compared to the 5 inch from Bandai as well uh, which is based on the animated series uh, which is good fit for the not good fit not the best fit but a, a better fit for the uh, small scale uh, hero okay, from, from Bandai and, and as you can see it's, it's, it's sometimes frustrating to stand them up but this guy just stand very easily which is a good point uh, you can rest assured that it will remain on your display uh, really well and maybe just to add a little bit uh, just to compare with uh, a Marvel Legends figure this is a Cyclops from Marvel Legends to kind of see the size here right of course this is bigger but look at this sizing it's a good pair isn't it uh, so not aside from uh, the articulation the half the look uh, of course the paint can be better but uh, articulation and accessories can be better but uh, this pairings look at the size okay uh, there's i think the proportion is quite good for hero and this paymax uh, hero seems small i think the majority of the toy box character is more like this size okay because he is smaller than most uh, his, uh, this uh, this proportion is good enough for me of course the draw the only weakness is the pain on on the eyes how they design the the eyes and that way uh, kind of sad you know could have been better uh, but hey well sometimes you just need to take what you can take right uh, so I think this uh, among uh, the best Baymax and uh, Hero or I would say one of the best uh, Big Hero 6 fig action figures which has been released uh, in the market uh, I can feel the, ha the heaviness of uh, the weight of this Baymax in fact the Bay Baymax is my favorite uh, hero is hero just needs to be there to complement but uh, Baymax is I think is the best Baymax that I have um, for action figure right um, yeah so it's just that I thought we need more accessories more maybe more hands okay uh, more hands for Baymax or if you want to design this kind of look on the face make another face please please make another face <laughs> but yeah uh, this is not the most serious action figure line that we have so yep this the toy box paymax and hero hamada so thanks guys for watching until the end if you like this video please like subscribe and share and don't forget to turn on your notification bell and see you on instagram ciao